Hello guys so welcome back to our IT channel Network Sealed today i am explaining the answer of the question which i asked last time regarding vpn scenario based question i wait for a long time to receive your opinion on this question but unfortunately i got response from few people i am very thankful to those people who tried and comment their response on it so let's discuss the answer here we will move here right to left that is uh, from um, our remote location branch to our data center firewall to customer location that is right to left okay in remote location branch first we will discuss about remote location branch so i am starting from here so here we will add customer location encryption domain ip which is 172.168.1.0/24 so that whenever our remote user try to access this destination ip the traffic will flow through the vpn we will add this subnet along with 10.0.00/24 subnet which is already there in vpn 1 okay why we will add this customer location ip in our remote location ip because you know very well if your vpn concept are good or we can say your basic vpn concept are right then you can understand why we will add okay i will not discuss here more about it why we will add okay so now comes to data center firewall okay we have done whatever our work we require to achieve in remote location now we will comes to data center firewall we will add the same subnet under local encryption domain of vpn one tunnel now we will we have done all the changes required for vpn one okay so in remote location we will add customer location subnet in remote encryption domain in data center firewall we will add same subnet in local encryption domain when in the same vpn tunnel now comes to vpn2 and consider data center firewall we have to add remote location subnet 192.168.1.0/24 in the local encryption domain and similar way we have to ask a customer to add same subnet in their remote encryption domain i am repeating again in now we are coming to vpn2 part in data center firewall we will add remote location local subnet that is 192.168.1.0/24 okay and we will ask customer to add the same subnet on their remote location encryption domain so now we have done all the necessary work to make the connectivity for this u turn vpn but in asa firewall we have to do one more thing that is intra communication when the traffic in and out from same interface then we have to allow intra communication by typing a command and that command is same hyphen security hyphen traffic space permit space intra hyphen interface but i think in in our diagram if we look here we are connecting vpn i mean vpn 1 and vpn 2 with different interface of data center firewall so we don't require here we doesn't require this command to type here so our traffic will be um, will move from remote location to customer location if we just add do the changes in local and remote encryption domain of those firewalls hope you get this videos and able to understand the answer uh, thank you for your support as always see you soon in next video lecture bye bye take care Was wrong.